Jake Paul, Jake Paul, Jake. Today's gonna be all about this breathing sack of bro. Now this guy has been trending a lot lately. He's been in a lot of YouTube channels videos. It seems a lot of YouTubers are making videos about him. So I thought to myself, why don't I jump on this trend of the train myself? Number one, it's an easy video to make because everybody's already given me the information I need. Now, to be honest, I would have never thought in a million years that this guy would be the hit on YouTube. Now, I wouldn't say this video is going to be as long or as deadly as the Morgs rant, but uh, I don't know, just a little bit of fun, see how we're all doing today. I'm not wearing any trousers, just wearing my good old boxer shorts. Uh, but I am definitely going to be putting in some good pointers. So if you're not caught up on the Jake Paul diaries, it pretty much goes like this. A viner who died moved over to YouTube and out of nowhere hit off to the point of deluxe-ness. And not only has an army bigger than that army on fucking Game of Thrones, but his fans are the deadliest of fans. That's right, you've already guessed it. Fuck boys and little girls. Now already you're probably thinking to yourself, is this guy allowed to be on YouTube? Well, I can tell you this, nothing gets in between the Jake Paulers. Which by the way guys, I've just realised is a pretty sick name. So, from now on on this YouTube channel, I'm going to be calling all of you guys the Mr. Jod Rockers. <laughs> now, more specifically, we are going to be talking about the lawsuits that have been filed against him. <coughs> now, people in his living area seem to be banding together to reign an end to this mythical beast known as the Jake Paul. That's right, they're finally coming together to put an end to Jake Paul and the Jake Paulers army. The reason is because of noise complaints. And Jake Paul was making a load of nonsense, a lot. He was being a little Dennis the Menace. The old shenanigans, the old buckaroos, the old kangaroos, the old shimmy shangers. And meanwhile, outside Team 10's garden, you had a bunch of 11-year-old girls screaming for Jake Paul to give them his seed. So obviously they're gonna file complaints. But you know what Jake Paul had to say about this? He had to say this. There's nothing we could do though. The Jake Paulers are the strongest army out there, Deb. Yes, exactly. Dude, you're the one who's fucked up. It's not your fans. Now if you tell a Jay-Z fan where Jay-Z lives, and the JC fan realizes that it's not that far of a walk, maybe 10, 20 minutes, or even maybe half an hour through a car, I can tell you he's gonna go to his house. Now, if you're a YouTuber with 8 million subscribers, it's your job to keep where you live a secret. Not only fans can come to see where you live, but also the people who don't like you can come to see where you live. And now, to be fair, that they've heard you might get kicked out of your house from noise complaints, I wouldn't be surprised if they're all sitting in their little conference table right now, banding together, trying to figure out ways to get you kicked out your house. And you know what? I wouldn't blame them. To For someone like you to blame this on your fans and not think of what led to the situation in the first place, not only does it tell me that you're ignorant, but it also tells me that you don't really care about the reputation of your fans. You see, Jake Paul is like Crash Bandicoot. Jake, of course, is Crash. And the apples in Crash Bandicoot are fans. Now, Jake can never get enough of the apples, the fans. And you see, the more fans he gets, the more lives he obtains. In this case, the lives would be subscribers. He only gets stronger. Dude, I have a huge fucking mosquito bite. Hills. Don't know if you can see that. Now, I personally believe we just need to go back in time, see where this all originated from, see where he came from, see his origin story. Jake Paul was a Viner, and he moved over to YouTube because obviously Vines died. He didn't last long. Now, I'm just going to speak the truth, and I'm just going to point out what's obviously going to happen. Now, I don't know, Jake, if you don't like what's going on, or if you're annoyed at what's going on, but you, if I were you, I'd get used to it and I'd enjoy it because you know what? You're not gonna get be famous or you're not gonna be trending for very much longer. 
I reckon you've got a good two months on you, and then you're gonna die. Just like how Mike Wazowski used to say it, don't take drugs and don't be a fuckboy. Don't be a Jake Paulo, kids. And don't take marijuana, everyone. In this video of Jake Paul getting interviewed, it doesn't surprise me to see a bunch of little girls and his fuckboy crew just tagging along trying to be part of, you know, the Jake Paul army. It's so much in the video that it really gets cringy. Become the new setting for many of his pranks and performances. He apparently makes his address no secret, mostly young girls the day we visited. No matter where you turn, the Jake Paul army will always snigger themselves in to get a little bit of that fame. Kids around there, which I don't even know, I don't know if they're part of Team 10, but I'm pretty sure they're not. So they're just there to tag along. It's like if you've ever been to Insomnia, side men are walking around, you've got like this, <laughs> this huge crew of just kids tagging along behind and it's so cringy and you want to be the bigger person and you just walk past them and you don't say anything you don't look at their fans you don't look at the side men you ignore them it really is just so cringy like i personally feel it's really cringy now in the video jake paul just seems to do a bunch of stupid shit as well he does things such as climbing on the van um dabbing saying that joke uh, remember that really old cringy joke the one that's like what are, what are toes? What are flows? Mucker nose? Trucker nose? It says this meme and it's so cringy. It made my balls shrivel up a little bit. Jake, I wouldn't do that. Look at, I wouldn't crawl up there. Why? Other dab. I have one question for you. Yeah? What are those? <laughs> now, I'm just, I'm just going to get up. Uh, I'll be back in the meantime. I'm just going to show you a personal representation of a Jake Pauler. Okay, so what I have here is uh, a small collection of uh, the Jake Paul starter pack. So the, with this starter pack, uh, there are a few accessories you need. With this starter pack, you get a uh, you need a Stone Island cap. <clears throat> you know, just to show off that you're a swag beast. You also need a, a Stone Island jacket and a Stone Island shirt. Um, you need a watch. Uh, you know, just a watch. Doesn't really matter, as long as you got... But it can't be a cheap watch. Uh, you know, it can't be a watch that can just tell time. It needs to be a watch that either is gold or, you know, ha shows a really expensive logo on there. Show everybody you mean business, even though you're only 15. And you don't make money. So you got that. I want to leave that there for views. Um, you also need a iPhone, uh, an iPhone 7, you know, just a newly updated phone, uh, you know, basically just expensive shit that you, you know, people know you didn't buy yourself, you just got from your mum and dad, leave that there, uh, um, it doesn't really matter, but for some reason they'll enjoy doing it, you need a, uh, a bag, which, like, not a bag, just anything with the, the, the Nike tick, I chose a bag just because it's there, uh, but it could be anything, just, it really brings out the coolness and the cool, the coolio when you, when you've got everything Stone Island, and then just the tick somewhere along the line. You need frizzy hair, and make sure you got frizzy hair. Uh, yeah, make sure you get diesel, or, I've got diesel, it could be anything, uh, you know, expensive, whatever. And just spray yourself until it's all gone. Buy it for 79.99 and make sure you use it all in a day. Because you, when stuff like this, you need to stench out the room. You need to stink everything out. Let people know you've got this on. It lets them know you've got money to buy stuff like this. Uh, this is quite a random one. Uh, quite random. It doesn't matter if you're um, a Jew. It doesn't matter if you are a Muslim. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter whatever religion you are. I respect whatever religion you are. Um, but it doesn't matter what religion you are. You need the cross. Now, this could be quite a controversial debate with, you know, fuckboys and stuff like that. But for some reason, Jake Paulers always wear crosses. Uh, you know, fuckboys, they just wear crosses. So I don't know why that is. Just if you're a Jew, uh, if you're whatever, you need to get a cross. Because for some reason, that's all they wear. Let's see if there's anything else for, her, uh, for us to see for what a Jake Pauler does. Obviously, you, you don't wear trousers. You just need to walk around in your Calvin Klein's, 
Just your Calvin Kleins. Make sure you show off your Calvins. Uh, you don't want trousers on. Who the fuck wears trousers, right, everyone? Uh, make sure you show off your pit boys. So, uh, you know, every Viner has a pit boy. Um, just make sure you walk around with your pit boy on. Uh, make sure you show this bad boy off. It has, you know, amazing technology. Just make sure you show this off. That's if the um, Imperial Armani, in fact, wear them both. Wear them both. I'm going to put them both on. Get a iTunes voucher in time. But, you know, make sure you got a... Uh, it doesn't really matter, just make sure you got a voucher of some sort. A lot of YouTubers seem to be doing this, uh, you know, the ones that seem to gain subs really quickly, I don't know why, but basically what they do at the start, or at the end of the videos, um, they show off a code, so they say, subscribe, like, comment, you're the beast, or I'm a jod rocker, and, you know, you're in for luck to win the PlayStation £25 voucher. So... Uh, you know, it doesn't need to be real, so you see here, £25, whatever, I'm just going to, you know, let you have those, and a 12-month uh, membership for PlayStation, just show those off. The whole kit, that's basically the whole Jake Paul, the Jake Paul starter pack. Turn to Jake Paul, everybody. Jake Paul is amazing. Yeah, make sure you smack that like button and subscribe to the channel. That's right. And also remember to comment. I will subscribe for a chance to win an iTunes voucher. Let career. me just say this: like every other Marvel movie. It doesn't end well for the superheroes. That's true. In Marvel, it, it doesn't end that well. Somebody always bites or gets really badly Wait hurt. till you see this next Leaves one. Everybody dies. Dude, 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 dude. dude. Not everybody. No. I'm living in a 21st century. Doing something 